follow me, and we will bring the whole fucking system down. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the streets. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. If the whole world got crazy, am I the only one around here who gives a shit about the wrong? You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window Open it and stick your head out and yell, I'm as bad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. So yesterday we posted a video of Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Scheller. Um, he had put up something to Facebook. Uh, it was a bit of a rant, but it was very calm and composed. But he was definitely questioning and calling out leadership in Washington, in particular military leadership. And... You know, he made a lot of great points and he gave some of his concerns, et cetera. But during during that video, I had gone ahead and called him lieutenant twice. And he is a lieutenant colonel. So I want to make sure that we get that clear. They're definitely not the same thing. And I'm not sure why I screwed that up, but it's embarrassing. But I want to make sure that I come out and set it straight. So now he's back again. He's got another video. I want to make sure everyone gets to see it. It's a little bit lengthy. So I'm going to go ahead and just get off and let him go. Hey everybody, Lieutenant Colonel Stu Scheller coming at you from an abandoned school bus in Eastern North Carolina. If you know me, you know. I've been overwhelmed by the outpouring of support over the last 72 hours since I made some statements in the public. I've also really appreciated the candor and the opposition, uh, the people who think I should have handled it differently. I think the debate is healthy and I appreciate and respect all sides of the conversation. But after I've meditated on everything, my higher purpose, my path, the path of the Marine Corps United States, I've come to a place where I feel at peace with making some further statements, and that's the purpose of this video. And I'm not a religious guy, and I don't know if it's the outpouring of people and all the support that I've had, but part of me feels like everything in the last 25 years of my life may have happened to to bring me to this point right now, whether it's my entrepreneurial success, whether it's my combat experiences, whether it's the people that I've had in my life, they've all played a part in my, my successes and failures have brought me to this moment. So before I get to exactly what I wanna say, I have two administrative notes. The first one is I just wanna clarify my legal status. I have been relieved of my command, but I am still a United States Marine. Currently, I am not pending legal action. Uh, I think the plan was to hide me away for three years, let an investigation take place, but not send me to a board of inquiry where they would have separated me on other than honorable conditions. And so I had the choice where I could remain silent, keep my retirement for three years, and quite honestly, uh, live the dream for not many responsibilities in terms of leaning into the next thing, if that's what I so chose. The other thing is in terms of donations, lots of people have set up GoFundMe pages and, and want donations and, and contribute to the cause because they're all, you know, want to believe in something. I'll tell you right now, I haven't set up a single GoFundMe and I'm not asking for any money. Uh, there'll be a time for that. If you want to donate, please donate to the families of the, the law service members from the attacks over the last 72 hours. The only other pitch I'll give is after I post this video, uh, my wife, I love you. You're a great mother. You've been down for the cause of the last 17 years. I don't know what decisions you're going to make in the next 72 hours. Uh, if anyone does want to donate, I'd ask that you just donate directly to her. Her, uh, We're not going to do GoFundMes. Just to clarify, there's no GoFundMes for me or my family. But my wife's PayPal is Jacqueline, spelled J-A-C-K-L-Y-N. Scheller, spelled as my last name, at gmail.com, or her Venmo, Jacqueline-Scheller. Okay. I have two social media platforms, LinkedIn and Facebook, and there is a little bit of a difference between the two of them. 
right now I, I'm overwhelmed with followers based on recent events, but general officers, colonels seem to prefer LinkedIn over Facebook for whatever reason. And so if you were to look back at my LinkedIn, the core thousand that I had was all colonels and generals and feel great officers. And the conversation in those posts are a little bit different. And everybody's got an opinion, but there's, there's one specific comment that I want to address. Going back to my earlier comment about maybe everything happened for a reason. When I was a young captain, I worked for a man named Lieutenant Colonel Hobbs. And we went through some things together. And he, many people don't know, was actually relieved as an 06 for standing up for moral things that he thought was right. And he did it within the system, as a lot of people have implored me to do. And he was just shuffled out the door without really affecting any change. And then after he exited the Marine Corps, he's made a lot of controversy by talking about racial diversity and um, equal opportunity problems in the Marine Corps. And from that respect, I have uh, adamantly disagreed with him. But just because we have different opinions doesn't mean I don't respect him. Sir, I, I love you like a father. And you made a comment on one of the posts in LinkedIn without giving anyone context of who you were or what our relationship was. And you said, if Stuart Scheller was honorable, he would resign his commission. Of all the noise going out there, that one comment has just played through my head. If Stuart Scheller was honorable, he would resign his commission. You didn't say is as if in challenging me you said was as if you assumed I wouldn't do it I want to make the announcement today after 17 years I'm currently not pending legal action and I could stay in the Marine Corps for another three years but I don't think that's the path I'm on I'm resigning my commission as a United States Marine, effective now, I'm sure there's some MAR admin on how I'm supposed to do that, and I'll work through that. But I am forfeiting my retirement on entitlements. I don't want a single dollar. I don't want any money from the VA. I don't want any VA benefits. I'm sure I'm entitled to 100%. I, you know, breathed on the smell and smoke of burning shit for years. I don't want any of it. You know, I asked, all I asked for was accountability of my senior leaders when there are clear, obvious mistakes that were made. I'm not saying we can take back what has been done. All I asked for was accountability for people to comment on what I said and to say, yes, mistakes were made. And had they done that, I would have gone back into rank and file, submitted and accomplished what I wanted. The morning after I posted my video and I came into work, my boss came in and he asked me, what were you trying to accomplish? And that was a very tough question for me. And my response was, I want senior leaders to accept accountability. I think them accepting accountability would do more for service members and PTSD and struggling with purpose than any other transparent piece of paper or message. And I haven't received that. For the over $2 million that I would potentially receive in retirement for the rest of my life, for the however much extra the disability would be, I think that money should go back to all the senior general officers because I think they need it more than I do. Because when I am done with what I'm about to do, you all are going to need the jobs and the security. I want to be clear that I love the Marine Corps. I think... You know, there's been a fascination with special forces over the last 15 years. Special forces people that come in in the middle of the night and they kill the biggest targets that the United States has. And I have much respect. I, I worked in MARSOC for a year. But what I'll say is the conventional Marine on the ground who has to smell burning shit, who when I was in Ramadi, I was exposed to it so much that burning shit actually smelled like bacon and eggs, and I grew to enjoy the smell. Those people who are there every day and don't get to leave the next morning or in the middle of the night, 
who go outside the wire, get blown up, bring their Marine back, and then go back out there the next day? They don't get the credit they deserve, and they deserve accountability. If Stuart Scheller was honorable, he would resign. You have no idea what I'm capable of doing. To all the congressmen, senators, every media station across the globe, to all the rich philanthropists, I appreciate the support and I'm going to need your support. To the Bellwether Alliance, I'm a coin carrying member. We have all these laws on how to create wealth. The one thing they don't tell you is that going after stability and money can make you a slave to the system and it can make you compromise what you truly believe in. I don't need a single dollar. I just need every single person that's willing to go back outside the wire every single day to wear a blue collar and just go into work every single day and feed their families. Those are the people that I need. Follow me and we will bring the whole fucking system down. I am honorable and you can ask any Marine who served with me for 17 years. I dare you to ask them all and find out what I'm made of. We're just getting started. I think he said everything he needed to say. Nothing left for me. Rant over.